I'm hoping we can get this done quickly. Well, the more cooperative you are, the quicker it'll go. I can hardly be any more cooperative, Chief. I already told you at the onset, the flash drive used to take down Fusion was mine. Of course, my fingerprints are all over it. And you said that this was stolen from your house during that series of break-ins we had a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that's right. So you can hardly hold me responsible for a crime committed with it when it was out of my possession, am I right? That's all good, David. Except one thing. I have a witness that places you at Fusion. A witness? Yeah. Said he saw you getting in the elevator, headed up to Fusion. <sighs> Care to comment? That's a lie. Would you like to hear my witness? Go right ahead. Hit me with your worst. I was about to leave, and I saw David coming in the back. Jake? Shh, shh, shh. Listen. And it was David. Clear as it, uh, you know, anybody could see it was David. Clear as day. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. This is weak. Even for you. Why is that? Because if this statement were legit, you'd have me in cuffs right now, reading me my rights. Hey, guess what? I got my Miranda right here. Yeah, but you see, the only problem is this statement is not legit. Because it's Jake's. And you know that Jake would say anything. He'd say the sky is green to put me behind bars. You know it, I know it, and the DA knows it. That's why I'm assuming you won't embarrass yourself by bringing this little fantasy over to the DA. Oh, one more thing. The reason why this has been an exercise in futility for you is because I didn't do it. So now if you're not gonna arrest me, I'm assuming you know that too. It's all here. Why don't you go away? We're busy. Really? And what are you up to? Plotting to take over the world? No, I bet you're trying to find new ways to frame me. Uh, he's right. Nobody knows or cares what you're talking about. So why don't you just take it elsewhere? Oh, I'm pretty sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. I heard Jake's little recorded statement over at the police station. Riveting. David, please just go. I intend to. But not before I deliver some wonderful news. I'm sure whatever you have to say, we can live without. No, no, I think you're going to want to hear this. Now, I know you've all been dying to figure out what I'm up to, what I'm, why I'm back in town. Well, this should answer your questions. I'm getting married. Getting married? That's right. On Valentine's Day. I thought that would be very romantic. I'm kind of an old-fashioned kind of guy, you know? Oh, I forgot to mention, you're all invited. Just out of curiosity, who is she? Well, I guess you're going to have to come to the wedding to find out.